All right, in this video, I got a bunch of random pickups that I wanna show you guys that I've collected over the last week or two that I just neglected to show you guys. So I figured I'd do a little bit of a haul video in this. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into it. What's going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals that I have curated for you guys, check the link in the description and happy shopping today. Got a couple pickups from some random places and random things. So just, I guess we'll start off with the easy Supreme bag and show you guys what I got here. So I ended up getting a shirt and stickers. So this drop happened a long time ago. I honestly just forgot to show you guys. I ended up getting this bike light thing, which honestly I didn't know what it was, but it's pretty dope. Um, let me show you real quick. So. It's literally magnets that say Supreme. And when you slam it down on metal, it turns on and it flashes different patterns. There's a red and there is a white one. And you can see it just resets like that. Like you just slam it down and I don't know. I thought this was actually kind of dope. And, and actually my kid rides around on a bike now, two wheel in it with his training wheels on right now though, but eventually we'll get the training wheels off. But since I got this, I was like, actually, this is going to be really cool for him to be able to use. So uh, yeah, I got this super random, super interesting and something that actually is going to turn out to be functional for myself uh, and the kid. So that's the first thing I got. And then I ended up getting this System T uh, Supreme t-shirt. I don't even know what this says in here. Let's actually take a look. I have no idea. Um, sometimes I buy these shirts and I'll just hold them and sell them later potentially, but I don't really understand this system shirt at all, but it looks like it says Supreme, um, backwards and all sorts of different ways. But if you guys understand this, leave a comment. Let me know what does this mean? I don't get it, but it looked cool to me. It's simple, white shirt, black letters, and one that I liked. So that was the first thing that I ended up getting. And the other one that I was really excited to get is something from Kith. And we have the equality shirts here price point on this was 65 dollars kith is kind of expensive man these t-shirts but it looked like it was embroidered in the pictures and it is embroidered so this is dope man i really like the quality in this so this says equality and the logo i thought was cool some people like commented on his instagram and said they thought it was not clever but i thought it was dope like equality then the man woman shares the head and then it says kith at the top Hi, hey harrison how you doing buddy <laughs> that was hilarious. I like that it says equality in different colors, obviously, in the rainbow print. It's just a really simple looking logo, but made with nice quality. And, uh, you know, I do support equality. I think it is something that's important. And I, I don't know, I just don't know why people have a problem with it. So I got that and I also got a black hoodie that has this as well. And the price point on this one was a bit steep as well at 160. So t-shirt and the shirts in the equality over there. All right, so moving on, there's a box up top here. I ended up getting a care package from a company called Hibernate. We got a bunch of stuff in here, man. This is ridiculous. So uh, shout out to the, them over at the Hibernate that sent me this. They have a little pin. Hibernate hat, white hat, which is kind of nice. It says Hibernate clothing on it. They sent me a care package uh, like a couple years ago. They sent me a care package a couple years ago. So it's kind of cool that they followed up and just sent me another random one. But I like the white one better than blue one, actually. So if you guys actually want to check out their store or their social media, there it is right there for you guys. I like the bear logo with the beer, though. That's my favorite one so far. Speaking of beer, they got a couple beer cozies that they sent. A couple stickers as well. And then a forest green hibernate logo shirt. They also sent some champion mesh shorts, as you can see here. And it also has the hibernate logo embroidered on these shorts. So cool that they sent this over. Thank you guys for sending this over my way. Next, we have a package from uh, sneakers and stuff. So you guys saw the other two that I unboxed. This is the third pair of the reseller's worst nightmares. This is actually the biggest nightmare out of the three. Uh, this is the acronym Prestos. And I think that I rubbed some people the wrong way when I posted that video. Some people, I wasn't trying to empower people to hate resellers by any means. I mean, I resell some here and there as well. It's not a big deal. And for those that didn't see the video, it was talking about how resellers hated these shoes. That was the unboxing, was the other two pairs of the Prestos and the acronym collaboration. And I said resellers hate the shoes because the price of them dipped below retail at this point right now. You could probably scoop these up from StockX 
for less than retail of $200 and I'll link them in the description for you to try your luck over there. I think that resellers were mainly shocked and that was my main point was that I think everybody was shocked, not just resellers, but resellers it sucked because if you bought them to sell them, you probably lost money. But it was shocking to know that these were not high demand because the previous pack is selling for $600 to $1,000, $1,200 or so, depending on the colorway. And this pack, all of them are selling for close to retail, except for the pink pair. And I think that's only less than 100 over retail. So uh, interesting that the uh, the shoes kind of flopped in a sense in the resale side. For me personally though, I was really excited because I was able to get a collaboration Presto and I like what they did with this one in general. So I was pissed I didn't get the first round of Prestos. Happy that I was able to get not one, two, but three of the second round. And that is what we got here. So that was the other pair. And the last thing here is a pair from Puma that I've actually never even looked at yet. This is the Clyde Quartz. So this is actually the basketball model for Puma that has just recently launched. Holy crap, these are vibrant. Holy crap, these are vibrant. I mean, obviously from pictures we could tell that these are like straight up vibrant, but until you get these in hand, it's like, holy moly, those are crazy bright. But here we have them, the Clyde Courts, court obviously for on-court basketball. So these are actually performance basketball shoes. Puma has entered the arena again, as you guys probably have already heard. And this is their very first model that they're bringing to the table. It has a Puma hybrid technology in the midsole, as you can see, that is encased in rubber. And if you didn't know, the hybrid technology is energy beads and Ignite that are uh, fused together and it makes the uh, hybrid technology. And I did a video on that a long time ago, but Puma basketball, it says on the insole of the shoe, nice all around materials. And unlike the pictures, I thought it was all mesh upper, but it's not all mesh. This is mesh on the front. This is mesh around the collar, obviously, but this is embroidered around here with a black Puma logo. And then back here, it's like leather and then plastic. So that's actually interesting to see. I didn't realize that there's so many different layers. And I think that if they did different colorways, they can actually accentuate that more by layering this in different colors instead of all one crazy red blast through the entire shoe. But I like the overall visual of this shoe. On basketball courts, this is gonna be an easily identifiable pair of sneakers in this colorway. So I think that was a smart move from Puma to be able to do that and introduce the shoe in this type of manner. This midsole and outsole is just really interesting because the whole thing is just pretty much flat. It doesn't have a lot of curvature. If you guys haven't seen Nightwing's performance review, check it out, it's definitely worth doing. He said that detraction is actually really nice on here. The encasing that he mentioned is really hard, but it's soft in the inside and really not soft on feet until you actually play basketball on them. So I'll find that out actually when I try these on, but um, all in all, they look better in hand than in pictures, but it leaves me really interested in seeing what they're able to do with this model and after they end up releasing more colorways, as well as if they end up morphing the upper, like this upper part right here where they sew on the tongue and the collar. I'd personally like to see a detached tongue here. I think it would look a lot cleaner, but obviously this is for performance, so this part adds to the performance of the shoe. It sounds like the lockdown of the shoe is really, really good. The price point of these are only $120 though, so I think entry level into basketball in this day and age, this is a great time to be able to release a basketball shoe that's budget friendly, that has good technology in the shoe and just have something different that you're bringing to the market. So kudos to Puma for jumpstarting their Puma basketball division again. I'm excited to see what they end up bringing to the table in this next year. And that was the last pickup that I ended up getting in this video. So there we have it. Pumas, Supreme, Kith, Hibernates, Nike acronyms. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching the video. Hope you guys enjoy the channel. If you do hit the subscribe button, notification bell if you wanna be notified. Maybe the thumbs up button as well if you guys would like to do that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more videos soon and have a great rest of the day. Peace guys.